white way really lives up to its name, but it doesn't make anybody very happy. It's the worst blizzard in six years. And even from its beginning, people know it's the real business. Before the storm howls up to New England and on out to sea, it dumps a paralyzing 12 inches of snow on the city and leaves near zero weather in its wake. What little traffic there is gets nowhere. Businesses and schools, even the stock exchange, close early. Throughout the day, the mayor is on the air imploring people to stay home. For most people, it didn't take much imploring. They couldn't get out anyway. New York wasn't the only city hit. The entire middle Atlantic seaboard was. Washington got 10 inches of snow in what was called a near blizzard. The distinction between a blizzard and a near blizzard or big snowstorm depends not so much upon the amount of snow that falls as upon the force of the winds and how cold it gets. Park benches optimistically painted in expectation of the cherry blossom season seem forlorn. Then comes the hangover from the blizzard, clearing the streets, figuring the damage and counting up the cost. Even before the cleanup is over, New York is warned of another storm approaching. After 24 hours of frozen inaction, the airports reopen and life begins to return to normal. 